Fifty five nine crickets. Hello, what's the same? Snakes in the grass, don't keep it cut. You goofy ass niggas in the streets ain't running mucks. No new friends. I can't do friends. Your wife be in these streets giving it up. You ain't the homie, nigga. I gon' tell you she a slut. No new friends. I can't do friends. Same G. Before I hit the streets. What it is, what it do, what it will be. YouTube world, it's your boy Cricket. R O double C. Just here drop some content real quick. Keep y'all updated what's going on. But this little episode, I just wanna talk to y'all how I got my nickname Cricket. I know a lot of people ask me how you get Cricket Cricket, you know, so I'm about to let the world know right now. So basically, <clears throat> how I got the name Cricket was I mean I grew up an athlete, played every sports, followed my older cousins, my female cousins ball, my uncles, they played everything, so I grew up watching them. So to make a long story short, when I was nine, I played baseball. All right, so I was probably the youngest on the team. Now I'm nine, but I'm playing with the 11 and 12 year olds. So it's called Major League at the time. My little town of Cork and whatever. My team was the Yankees. So everybody on my team that year had a nickname. Like my boy Tim Williams, his nickname was Hoover Remover because he played, I want to say shortstop or third base. And Ground balls hit him, he was getting like a vacuum cleaner, so they called him Hoover. Called my boy Scott Garcia, Twinkle Toes, Twinkle Toes, just because he was, I guess, light on his feet, but I don't know, I think he was one of the slowest on the team, but anyway, he was a baller. He played like second base. Then we had a pitcher, the Cisco kid, Frisco, he was probably throwing, I don't know, he was throwing heat at a young age. So they called him Cisco, and then there I was. I was probably like the only one that didn't have a nickname because everybody was on the team. I just got drafted. I think I was the only person they drafted because they won a championship, so they only had one draft. So here I'm nine years old. They asked me what position I want to play. I don't know nothing about baseball. I just played basketball, football. You know what I mean? I'm just they just put me up there because I was so fast and I was getting you know I did good at the little training thing. So anyways, they sent me out to the outfield. They're like, you're fast, so they sent me out to the outfield. So they hit pop flies, bam! Right, so I see the ball, but I'm just taking my time to the ball, then I'll speed up, jump, and make a catch, and make it difficult. So basically, I was making the catches harder than what they really should have been. You know what I mean? Not knowing, I'm just, this is what I say on TV, I want to make all the highlights. That's me, cricket. Make highlights. Well, actually, I didn't even have that name yet. So one day the coach was hitting pop flies, and I dove, bam! He was like, oh shit, that was a good ass catch. And you know what? They're like, you hop around like a goddamn cricket. We gonna call you Jimmy the Cricket. So ever since I've been nine, that's how I got the name Cricket. Just they was like you jump around like a goddamn grasshopper. You diving here, you diving there. Every time you leave practice, you're all green because you diving. Everybody else is clean. You know what I mean, I'm just out there having fun. I'm only nine years old. Everybody else is eleven and twelve. You know what I mean? So that's how I got the name Cricket at the age of nine. And then as I got older, it just elevated. You know what I mean? My game or street cred or whatever you wanna call it. Cause when I got about We'll just fast forward it, and then we'll save it for another story. But when I got to like, what, ninth grade, or well, like 15 or something like that, I remember um, I already had my own little crew. We was probably like, I don't know, maybe 25, 30 deep. I put everybody on. You got the, we was hanging out in my apartments in G Block. You're getting beat up before you come hang out with us. So to make a long story short, my freshman year, I, I played varsity basketball at my high school. But I knew I was playing varsity before I even got to high school. I mean, that's what type of athlete I was. They was already telling me, oh, coach was already talking about you, so when you get to high school, you're gonna go straight to varsity, which I actually played three varsity sports as a freshman, which is rare, you know what I mean? But anyways, so one day we walking, what street was that? Mm, Derry, we walking on Derry to the Westports. <clears throat> About like 20, you know what I mean? My, my little brother with me, like seven years younger than me, so I'm like 15. I don't know, he six, seven at the time, something like that. And then, um, so we, we walking on this canal bank, right? And it's these these Mexican dudes, they old, they're like 30 years old, but they got bikes, you know what I mean? And then, so I asked the homie, I was like, anybody want a bike? And my homeboy j was like, oh yeah, man, I want a bike, I need a bike. So, all right, all right, all right. So we, we approached these guys right there on the canal bank, holding on to the bike, tight, because already, they already know, wheels up to no good. I'm, I'm not even the oldest, but I'm like 15, you know what I mean? But I'm the, the ringleader, so I hit dude up. I said, hey man, that's my partner bike right there. He's like, oh, no, 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 no English. This is my bike. 
it's not your bike. I'm like, man, you got one more time to get my homie his bike back. And he was like, then he called me like a puto or something like that. You know what else? I'm like, what? So I look, bam. Now, I knocked this dude, I hit him so hard, he left the bike right there. And then he flew into the canal bank, bam, into the water, right? I'm only 15 years old. So his other partner is a spook, he looked. So he's driving the canal to go get his partner out the water because I didn't gave him a TKO, you know what I mean? At 15. And um, so we get the bikes, we take off, not knowing the damn police was up the block, but they didn't really see what happened. So the police come, er, bam. They pull us all over. They got us all sitting down on the curb, whoop, 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 right? So the police was like, oh, what happened? Did you guys do something? What did you do? Me being a quick thinker, you know what I mean? I was like, oh, no, nah, man. It was some gang members. They just hopped up in the car, and they just went that way. Man, go get them. You know what I mean? We young. You know what I mean? So they believed us. So they hopped in the car, <laughs> and they go chase the homie, the homie Emac, right? They know Emac. Emac older than us, but he got his name ringing bell, so they want to go get him, right? Because they seen him earlier, I guess. So I was like, man, the car went that way, so they just figured it was Emac, right? So... That was funny. So, make a long story short, is I mean, we didn't get called for it. My partner Jamar got a bite, <laughs> and then after that, that's when they started calling me instead of cricket. They were like, "Man, you crazy!" It's like straight loco. So they started calling me. They were like, "No, well, man, we gotta call you cricket loco." So that kind of just stuck with me, you know what I mean? So now they call me loco, cricket loco, whatever. But now that I'm mature, I'm older, you know what I mean? I got kids. I, did, I ain't in the streets like that, but you know what I mean? If you test me, I feel gonna bring it to you. I ain't out there gang banging, but. A gang member, you were guilty about association, so I'm already validated as one of them crips. So if I get caught, my name is in the system. So, but anyways, um, yeah, like I was saying, so as I got older, you know what I mean, kids and all that, I left all the street stuff. So now, you know, me just cricket rock, and you know, cricket R O C C, and what rock means is reaching other city countries, cause you know I'm trying to show my little homies how to elevate their game. And all of, it's not all about tripping, you know what I mean? It's trying to take care of your family, responsibilities, and just trying to make a way for yourself in this future. So, I don't condone no violence or anything like that. This channel not going to promote it, but we will be talking about like just different stories like this. I mean, I got a bunch of, I ain't been to the prison, I ain't been to the YA, but I've been to jail. But the people I have hung out with, you know what I mean? They've been there, they got plenty of stories. I actually learned from their mistakes, you know what I mean? And they kind of see the path that I was going, I was blessed to be an athlete and they tried to keep me out the way but I was just hard headed and you know have my own little lane but I always stayed true to the game so I never fell off. A lot of people that I was up under they fell off and they didn't even let you know they fell off because I was at a time where crank kinda hit hard and what you don't get high on your own supply so I'll say that for another story but be on the lookout for more content. Something like this little quick story so I just want to give y'all a little rundown on how I got my name Cricket, you know what I mean? Cause if you don't know cricket from Corcoran, then you ain't from Corcoran. Because I ain't trying to glorify myself, but besides Corcoran Prison, I helped put Corcoran on the map just with my athletic abilities. I'm not talking about shooting them up, bang, bang, but I was out in the street doing that. And wherever I went, it don't matter what state I was in, they asked me, where you from? I'm from Hanford, but I was raised in Corcoran. We gangsters out there. It's a crip town. We, we run it, you know what I mean? So I leave it on that note. Just be looking out for some more content, and I'll stay safe out there. I'm out.